When we think of nutrition, we think of the food we eat on a day-to-day -day basis. And now that we got our nutrition figured out and our activity level in play, we are now going to focus on bringing everything together so we can finally start thriving in life with more balance. However, in order for that to happen, we must look at both our primary and secondary food. And you may ask yourself, what is the difference between primary and secondary food? So believe it or not, our primary foods are not the foods we eat. Our primary foods include elements such as meaning, uh, meaningful spiritual practice, an inspiring career, regular and enjoyable physical activity, and an honest and open relationships that feed your soul and your hunger for living. So there are a few others, but we will get into that in more depth soon. The more primary food we receive, the less we depend on secondary food. So the opposite is also true. The more we fill ourselves with secondary food, the less we are able to receive the primary food of life. So when your primary food is full, you thrive. The food we eat Stay secondary, providing support to be healthy and do the things that you love. So you will be introduced to the circle of life wheel and the circle of life wheel shows you all of your primary foods. So it starts from joy, spirituality, social life, our relationships, our home environment, home cooking, physical activity, our health, education, our career, finances, and creativity. So all of those are our primary foods. So these primary foods must be given attention in order for ourselves to fully achieve an optimal level of health. So there are a lot of misconceptions of what it means to be fully balanced or what it even means to be balanced. So being balanced is not being perfect in all areas all at once. It's physically impossible. There's typically one to two things that are always going to be going very well in your life. And then there's gonna be one to two things that you need more focus on at times. And really that's just life. So it's important to always reflect and make sure that the ones that you are neglecting are given attention to and more in-depth thought. So if you're thinking about them, then you can eventually take, you know, the two top spots that are going really well um, and then move them and get the two ones, the ones on the bottom to the top. It's a wheel for a reason because it's always in motion. It's important that it's always in motion rather than standing still because that is when we depend on secondary foods, when our motion, our circle of life starts, stops spinning. So when we stop spinning our, circles of, our circle of life, that's when we get dependent on the secondary food and it can really turn for a negative effect. So for this month, each week, we're going to review your circle of life. We're going to focus on the two areas that are going great in your life. And then we wanna know why they are going well. And then we also want to focus on the two areas that maybe you want to make more positive progress in, and we will game plan a way to make progress in those areas.